Hi, I'm Rick Robinson, Director of Smart Places for Jacobs, where I explore the impact of digitalization on cities, communities, and the built environment. So what does digitalization do? Well, it measures things. And every year, we can measure more things than we ever could before. The amount of digital data in the world outgrew the amount of non-digital data in about 2002, and has been doubling every two to three years ever since. That means that more data was created in the past two years or so than in the entire previous history of the human race. Digital disrupts traditional established supply chains and go-to-market channels with flexible online marketplaces. And digital creates entirely new experiences. Massively multiplayer online games such as Fortnite or eSports. They're new forms of social entertainment that compete with traditional activities for our time and our attention. And digital enables innovation by allowing broader and more diverse sets of people and ideas to find each other and interact. Our digital experience in COVID has taught us that we don't need to make the same choices we took before. The experience of sitting at a desk is not worth travelling for. The experience of a run-of-the-mill meeting is not worth travelling for. The value to innovation of serendipitous water cooler or over the partition conversations is trivial compared to the serendipity that can be created in social media between a much broader and more diverse set of participants and using tools that are much more effective at enabling synergies. What does this mean for aviation? Well, of course, you should think about all that data. How can it be used to get the right asset or person to the right place at the right time? How can exchanges of information shift from over counters and at checkpoints to digital interactions with lower friction? How can airport and passenger communicate differently to maximize the value of the airport experience for work, retail and relaxation? How can data extend your relationship with the passenger before and after flights and between trips? You need to think about how your destinations create experiences that go beyond their previous reasons to travel particularly for business travel, and what your role might be helping destinations to create or curate those experiences, whether those experiences are around the airport itself or in the region it serves. And you should think about the new experiences that are possible within the airport. For example, the next generation of entertainment will be immersive experiences using digital and physical technologies to combine elements of cinema, theatre, gaming, sports and theme park rides. These are not things we will experience in our homes. They're physical and they're, th and they're social, and they require complex, expensive technology. They'll be created in places where many people come together, such as town centers, and why not airports? Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the conference.